All right, so I'm a little bit late getting this bullet review out. You guys know I typically try to do one bullet review a month, and I'm about a week behind on this one. Um, as a matter of fact, I wasn't even planning on doing this particular video today. I had plans to do a different video, but it just so happened that yesterday I got out and was able to uh, get the rest of the data that I needed collected uh, for this particular bullet review. Uh, they had harvested some of the fields that I shoot in, so I was able to get that extra bit of distance to collect the last bit of data that I needed. So now it's time to go ahead and do the 107 grain Sierra Match King full review. Um, as a matter of fact, I didn't even buy this bullet initially for my 6mm Creedmoors here. I'd actually bought this bullet for a different project, which was the 6mm Arc. Um, I'd ordered a 6mm Arc barrel. Uh, it was supposed to be here, as a matter of fact, uh, about six weeks ago. And that whole thing has been such a mess. Um, it's now, I'm now being told it's going to be about another week and a half. Um, but in the meantime, I had plenty of these 107 grain Sierra Match Kings. So I figured let's let's test them out in the six creed more, see what kind of data we could collect in the meantime while I was waiting on the arc. And right off the bat, I was pleasantly surprised with how well they shot. Um, load came right together. Um, as a matter of fact, it's the same bullet you guys have been seeing me do the uh, the barrel tuner series with. Um, is this 107 Match King? And as you guys have been able to see, they shoot just absolutely lights out uh, once I had a good load worked up and especially once I had the barrel tuned and, and really, really dialed in. Um, so they are obviously a 107 grain, 243 caliber, six oh, yeah. millimeter bullet. Um, these things, the nuts and bolts of it, they have a sectional density of 0 0.259. They have an overall length of 1.218 inches and they have an advertised ballistic coefficient. Now this is one of the things I've said before. Um, I've done a few uh, Sierra Match King bullet reviews and one of the things I've said before is I really enjoy how Sierra breaks down their ballistic coefficients by velocity. I really wish other companies would do that because I think a lot of other companies really give some misleading ballistic coefficients on their boxes um, due to the fact that they put out the highest ballistic coefficient number they can at the highest velocity and that's what they expect people to use for those further distances and it just typically doesn't line up but Sierra is slick enough and smart enough and and respects their customers enough I do believe to give you a velocity range with different ballistic coefficients so their advertised BC's are go from 2,500 feet per second and above at a .547 G1. That's one thing I do. I am kind of disappointed in is they only give a G1 and there is no G7. Um, there is no G7 information uh, with Sierra's Sierra Match King bullet. Um, now, if you guys know me and you, and typically most of us long range shooters or people that really stretch our distance out, we like to, we like to do our bullet truing in the G7. So with the Match Kings, I actually have to true bullets in the G7 and G1 for these reviews, which is what I've done here. So the 2,500 feet per second and above, they give a 0 .547 G1. Um, for 2,500 feet per second down to 1,800 feet per second, they give a 0 .542 G1. Um, for 1,800 feet per second down to 1,600 feet per second, they give you a 0.529, and then for 1,600 feet per second and below, they give you a 0.519. Now, if you guys have seen my bullet reviews in the past, you know I typically do my, break down my ballistic coefficients a little differently. I typically do two separate ballistic coefficients. I do one out to around 800 yards. As a matter of fact, I broke this one down at 750 yards. And then from the, that from that distance to transonic. Now that also, all those distances depend on caliber and where the transonic zone starts. But uh, so for the 107 grain Sierra Match King here, we have a true ballistic coefficient. Now this is my true ballistic coefficient and this ballistic coefficient does match up perfectly in both of these rifles. So I was able to use the same numbers uh, for true ballistic coefficient for both these rifles and get perfect waterline impacts all the way out. So I feel really good about this data. It's working in both rifles. So for my true ballistic coefficients, um, 750 from zero to 750 yards, which is a velocity range from 3,150 feet per second down to 1,953 feet per second. Um, so for that velocity range, I've got a G1 of 0.539 and a G7 of 0.276. So those are my those are my out to 750, 800 yard uh, G1 and G7 true ballistic coefficients. 
So from 750 yards to 1250, which I was able to get out to yesterday and finally get some good waterline impacts and collect the rest of my data, um, from 750 or 1953 feet per second down to 1329 feet per second or right on the edge of the transonic barrier um, at 1250 yards, um, I got a .269 G7 and a .527 G1. So those are the numbers and how they broke down for me. And like I said, it worked in both my rifles, so I feel really good about it. So we'll talk about the shape of the bullet. Now, the me plat of this bullet is typical uh, Sierra Match King. A lot of the newer Sierra Match Kings have a, a me plat or the tip of the bullet. Um, that is a factory tipped bullet and that is no exception for the 107 Match King. So they have taken the bullet once they form the meat plat and then they actually run it through a tipping die so that it, you, what tipping bullets do is we've talked about many times in the past, tipping bullets um, increases the, the ballistic coefficient by a slight margin but what it really does is it uniforms the ballistic coefficient. It gives you a lot more less variation in ballistic coefficients uh, once they uniform those tips. You'll see on a lot of bullets um, hollow point match bullets that have a very uneven tip you know one of them one of the meat plats will be nice and flat and the next one will be kind of at an angle and they all shoot really well but you have a lot more variation in your ballistic coefficient with bullets that don't that have not been tipped like these Sierra Match King one of the 107 Match Kings have been um, factory and like I said the 110 Match Kings the 183 Match Kings all the other Match Kings that we've reviewed so far to this point have been factory tipped and that's something I really like that they've done um, like I said it just adds to the consistency and as we've talked about many times consistency is key in long-range precision shooting um, so the ogive of this bullet um, one of the things that I've noticed about the ogive of this particular bullet is it is a somewhat tangent ogive it is not a completely secant or very sharp or very narrow angled ogive very pointed ogive it does have somewhat of a radius to it so it has it would it would be i would guess you would consider it kind of a hybrid style ogive so it has the ability because it has somewhat of a tangent ogive it has the ability to be shot across many platforms um and not be extremely jump sensitive um, that's the reason we'll get to here in a minute why there are factory ammo offerings uh, with the 107 Match King. So the bearing surface of this, um, that is w one of the things that, that we've, on the last couple of Sierra Match King, last couple of Sierra Match Kings that we reviewed, one of the things that we've talked about is something that I've been really excited about and really impressed with is Sierra has done a one and a half degree angle between the bearing surface and the beginning of the ogive. And what that's supposed to do, and I believe that it does because I've had really good luck with them, is that it, it starts the bullet, it, which that is typically the one and a half degree is typically the shape of most rifle throats so that starts the bullet on a perfectly trued path down your barrel um, now that is one thing that is not done to the 107 match king it does not have that one and a half degree angle between the ogive and the bearing surface um, but like i said i've not seen any issues with that it hasn't caused me any issues i've not seen any um i've not seen any consistency issues with the 107 Match King, and you guys have seen me do a number of videos with these on top of shooting them in matches. So the bearing surface on this, if you look very closely to the bearing surface of this and the bearing surface of the 110 grain Sierra Match King, it actually has the exact same length of bearing surface. Um, so basically you're looking at a 110 Match King with a different ogive and a slightly different boat tail, which is the last thing I want to talk about about the shape of this. Um, the boat tail is angled very similar similarly to the ogive which is a typical thing that you'll see in match bullets like this typically they try to follow the angle of the ogive with the boat tail and i think that adds the aerodynamics um so it does not have the same ogive or same uh boat tail as the 110 match king but it definitely has the same bearing surface um if you guys are looking to buy the 107 grain sierra match kings um, the product number is 1570 for a 100 round box of 107 Match Kings. You should be able to punch that number into any of your uh, midways, your mid souths, your notches, any of the places you buy your reloading supplies. You should be able to punch that in in their search bar. And if they sell the 107 Match King, it should pop right up. Um, they, as far as factory ammo goes, there are a few different factory offerings that come 
come with the 107 Sierra Match King. There is a Spark, Spark Munitions uh, 243 offering with the 107 Match King. Um, there's also Sig Sauer's 6mm Creedmoor ammo is loaded with the 107 Match King. And there's actually a couple of other ones. Uh, that Spark, uh, Spark Munitions 243, you're looking at about $32 per 20 rounds, whereas the Sig Sauer 6 Creedmoor, you're looking at about $31 per 20 rounds. So fairly reasonable price for match ammo with such a good bullet. <clears throat> uh, if you're looking to buy just the straight bullets, price per 100, you're looking at between $34 and $30 per 100 rounds. I have seen them go up to as much as around as $39 per 100 um, but that, that is kind of an outlier, and typically you're looking at the lower end of $30. So this has been the full bullet review of the 107 grain Sierra Match King. You guys have seen me do lots of videos with these. I've been really happy with them. I plan to continue to shoot these for, enough, for quite a while. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.